Hello, it's uh, Darren from Grills Plants here in Cornwall in the UK. It's um, the 19th of August. Now is a good time, middle of August, to take dahlia cuttings. You've got obviously dahlias in flower, we've got this one in flower. So what we're going to do, we're looking for a side shoot down the side here, which actually has not got a flower. I've got one here, look. No flower, side shoot. And this is what we're looking for, something nice and straight. So what we're going to do is uh, snip this one off and give it some rooting powder, pot it up, and then this will form a tuber by next March. So I've got my scissors, snip it off. Yeah. There's my cutting. Now I'm going to take it to the um, potting bench and um, show you what we do next. Before I deal with the cutting, I'm going to sort my compost. So, pot, it's a firm plastic pot. This is just neat compost which I buy, which is farmed locally. It clumps together, sticks together a bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably about three quarters fill that, the pot with compost, like so. And I'm going to add some grit. So, grit. So that's just about as much grit as we want. Tip it under there, and then I'm going to mix it in until all the grit is mixed in amongst. This, the idea of the grit is that it's going to give it a little bit more drainage, um, so it won't retain water um, so heavily, which means um, it, the compost will be looser, which in theory should mean that it'll root quicker, it'll root better, so there we are, all mixed with the bit of grit. Now back into the pot with that. There we are, back into the pot now. Back onto the cutting that I've taken. I'm gonna use scissors, you can use a pen knife. I'm gonna take off all these lower leaves. And the next set of leaves as well. So we're left with this. Now that's still too many leaves for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce those leaves as well. So I'm going to cut that one back and that one. And even when then we're left with the top bit, like that. But even then, I'm probably even tempted just to cut them in half. So that's all we've got left on the top. So you're cutting the uh, root cutting um, just below the node. Um, now looking at that one now, it's actually quite long. There's a bit of a bend in it. So don't need it to be that long. So let's take it back to the next node. Clean cut. So there you go, that's the size we're left with. You can see where the node was. So what we're gonna do is um, I've got some rooting powder. I always suggest using rooting powder. So uh, this rooting powder is what we use, which is a natural rooting powder. So take your cutting, dip it in, give it a twirl. Leave it there a second, back to the pot. Now, second knuckle I'm going to go to, centre of the pot, make a hole. There's my hole. Take your cutting. There's a root and powder on it there. Into the hole, to the bottom. Bring the compost in around. Like so. Firm it round. Next we're going to Put some pen marks on it to say what kind of dahlia it is and what colour. So this one's a yellow cactus. I know it's a cactus because it's the only yellow one I've got. So I've marked it as yellow and now we're going to put it somewhere shady. This is where I put a lot of my cuttings, nice shaded. 
it's shaded by a wall on two sides so now we're going to water it so with water now we tend to start off the plant over it goes give it a minute and then the same principle start off the pot back over it a few times and there we are one daily a cutting <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it in shade and um, I would expect Cornwall UK weather by February March next year this kind should have formed a tuber and then we'll pot it up into a bigger pot this will be then a first year dahlia next year with a tuber and um, in theory this will flower next year just before I end I'll show you a few more things I've got which is cuttings as well so these are rosemaries and these have been in there a month those around corners of the pot they'll establish a root in another four weeks they'll be repotted curry plants and these have already been repotted these are Viburnum tinuses same principle so plants really for next to nothing it's just a little bit of compost and a bit of your time so yeah that's how you take dahlia cuttings